Hey guys, Defy here for another video, and this video is beyond 7 Days to Die. 7 Days to Die is an open world, voxel based sandbox game. It is a mixture of first person shooter, survival horror, town defense, and role playing, all combined into one game. It's a combo of Daisy and Minecraft, such as mining, building, crafting, combat, and exploration, and is made by the Fun Pimps. The game started off as a Kickstarter and they wanted to raise $200,000, but they raised over $500,000, so expect a lot of fun and cool stuff being added to the game. The only downside to the game right now is that it is really easy to survive. All you have to do is just jump on a roof and you can survive all night, and zombies can't climb on ladders. Soon they plan to add zombies that can climb on walls and flying mutants and much more. During the day, zombies are very weak and can only walk. Don't be fooled, they can still get you cornered in a room and ba get you bashed up. But at night, zombies are a whole different story. They can run, do much more damage, and can hunt you down from a mile away. Just remember, this game is in early alpha and stuff is due to change. So enough talk about the game, let's get into one and start playing. Hey guys, Defy here, um, back with 7 Days to Die, where we're actually going to start our new world here. Um, we spawned in kind of a, not a swampy, kind of a foresty, burnt foresty place. So this is kind of the map here, um, the green parts are the forest areas, the purplish areas are like the areas I'm in, and these are the deserts. Um... I'm actually cl quite close to some good places with um, quite good loot over here and stuff. So I say we should get some wood first. See if we can get some wood. I don't know why none of this ground's making any noise. There we go. It's just like Minecraft, there's blocks everywhere. And you can probably hear the zombies over there. But it's daytime, so it's fine. So... In the bottom left corner of the screen, you can see my stamina bar. That's the dark blue one falling down. Oh. Almost died there. It's okay, because we will regen soon. But there's a ton of wood we got from this. So, we'll actually make some this. Oh. So, what my plan is, what you have to do is split it up to... So, this is the crafting screen I should explain. So, the first thing you want to do is get wood, basically. You can make it into old plywood, and then you can make them into sticks. And sticks are quite good because that you can use them as a weapon or to craft stuff. So, I'm going to make 20 sharpened sticks. With sharpened sticks, you can actually use them as weapons. Now, there's so many stuff you can use as weapons to, like, kill zombies with or just build with some water bottle that'll be useful don't know where I just got this mag from but okay so we'll continue on to this deserty place um, to the house right next to the river that's a, quite a good place to survive and there we go killed her and she gave us some scrap metal so scrap metal can be used to make iron ingots. You need three of them to make an iron ingot. So after you make iron ingots, you can make iron tools, such as pickaxes, um, fire axes, and tons more crazy stuff. See what can see over this. Okay, um, we're actually heading towards the house right now. But if you do press M, you can check out the whole map. Um, this is the biggest city on the map right there, where you find most of your loot, maybe sniper rifles, something like that. But this dude's huge, and I'm just going to walk past him because he'll own me. But not in the daytime because I can just run past him. So as you can see on the top left-hand corner of the screen, um, the day and time of the thing right there. And that would basically tell you basically your days, how many to survive. So, saying the name of the game, Seven Days to Survive, you don't only survive seven days, you can survive as long as you can. But um, every day gets harder and harder. So, the zombies get 
more powerful and want to kill you even more. So that's frightening. And we found our first pistol. So you need to put the pistol in your hotbar, in the magazine in your hotbar for the, for it to work. And we're not actually heading the right way. We're heading off course right here. But at least we got that pistol. So the house should be just over this hill right here. And we'll hopefully make a base out of it. You want to collect some of these um, type of bush things because you can make stuff out of these. And as, you, as well, you can also see in the bottom left corner of the screen, you can see your food and water bar. Um, the green and light blue one um, is the light blue one is your water, and the green one is your food. They slowly go down in time, and you need to find and you need to find food to um, bring it back up. So cars are very useful because um, they have quite a lot of stuff in it, as you can see. So some food we have, some paper and a glass jar so we can fill that up with water and I can now show you how to make an iron ingot so these are all the things we can make now all the green ones are the ones we have crafted so it would show us how to craft them because we already know how to but stuff such as ladders or iron ingots we have not crafted yet and it will not show the end result or the crafting how you craft so we'll craft an iron ingot right now put free scrap metal along and we make an iron ingot and now we know how to make it so if we ever get that again if we ever get free um scrap metal we can make an iron ingot without even having to do that again it, we can just click on the iron ingot word and it will craft it for us so, so a few zombies here to take them out usually headshots because headshots are most of the time one shot one kill more scrap metal, it's very nice. Oh, I missed right there. So we'll check out some of these cars here. More ammo. Take this um, gun, because weapons and items do have durability. And just like Minecraft, um, you need to repair them or build a new one. So we'll try looting these. We'll pick up these barrels because they're actually explosive barrels. And look at that aiming. We actually, whoa, that's quite a lot of zombies. So gas cans. Gas cans can fill up um, items such as chainsaws and um, augers, I think they're called. Okay. After they get over the box, I can all headshot them. There you go. What I'm looking for right now is a shotgun. Shotgun would be very nice. But we'll see what's in here. Shotgun ammo, so that'll be useful when we find a shotgun. Search these cupboard for food. Ooh, potato seeds and water. So as you can see, there's a lot of items in the game that you can find around the world. Oh wow, we just found a chainsaw. I've hardly never found one. Okay, that is very rare. So I'll save that up. And actually, if you do die in the game, everything on your hotbar would be lost, but everything in this bar, like your backpack, is going to be saved for the rest of your life. So as long as you don't put the important stuff in here, so I'm going to drop a lot of stuff that I really do not need. Drop some of that stuff. Wow. An auger. We basically have the best mining equipment in the game right now. I've never found any of this. I swear. Wow. Okay. Well, we'll be mining shortly. But first of all, I want to try and destroy this barrier right here. There we go. All sniper ammo, so very nice. More shotgun ammo. So what would be nice right now, after fighting all this amazing stuff, is a shotgun. So more metal fragments. Oh, there's a zombie up here. So we'll just take him out with our pistol. 
Bam. So these air conditioner type things, um, yeah, all have scrap metal in it. So we can just press take all. Um, there's quite a lot up here. So I'm thinking about making a sledgehammer because they're very good with to with taking out zombies. So actually, let's make some iron ingots. There we go. Bam. So right now we can make a sledgehammer. Um, I think it goes boom, boom, boom right there and sticks down here. No? Okay. Um, do I even have enough? Okay, let's see. Sledgehammer. Okay. So one, two, three. And then sticks down the bottom. And we now have a sledgehammer. That mainly one shot zombies and it's very, very OP. Um, but we have basically every good item in the game and have it here on record. So, pretty neat. So, tonight we'll be surviving on the roof mainly because down on the floor is quite dangerous. Zombies can kill you quite easily. But zombies cannot get onto the roof. So, it's a pretty neat place to hide. I'm going to pick up all these barrels. Very useful. <laughs> Holy crap. Okay, I don't know where he came from. I think it was like Spider-Man. Okay, what you just saw there, um, I actually stood on the spikes and killed myself. So I need to get back to my um, house quickly. Even though I have every good item in my inventory now I want to try and get all my pistol and everything I would not have a weapon to use to put tonight well we just found a shotgun so that's a big deal okay very nice but I still want to get our pistol and everything because that was quite a pretty good weapon I should say